Hey, all you warriors out there, Jerry Gladstone, author of The Common Thread of Overcoming Diversity and Living Your Dreams and founder of the Common Thread Success Academy. Let's talk about the necessary mindset you need to have in order for you to reach your goals. The word goal is a very short word, but takes a very strong mind to see one through. Fact is, we all have goals. That's a given. Now it's time to start looking and developing the proper mindset when it comes to actually seeing your goals through from the beginning to the end. One of my favorite quotes is from television news reporter Jessica Savage, who said, For every two minutes of fame, there are eight hours of hard work. That's not just a quote, that is reality. I think sometimes we fall into the misconceptions that celebrities are somehow meant for success or destined for success. Here's the fact, it's just not true. What is true is that most of them had goals just like you and I, but they understood having a goal was not enough. A proper mindset needed to be in place. Who am I talking about? How about a few of the celebrities featured within the Common Thread book? People like Baseball Hall of Famer Brooks Robinson, who went from newspaper boy to bat boy to a baseball legend. Mark Cuban, who went from a bartender to a billionaire to an NBA team owner and then winning a world championship with the Mavs. How about Montel Williams, who suffers from multiple sclerosis, but still graduated from the Naval Academy and went on to win an Emmy Award. Quentin Tarantino, I love his movies. He went from a high school dropout to a video store clerk and then to more than $3 billion at the box office as a director and Academy Award winner. Jimmy Kimmel, who was fired as a radio DJ, became a game show host and now a late night star. How about Jeff Idelson, one of my favorite stories, who went from selling popcorn and hot dogs in the stands to president of the Baseball Hall of Fame. Chef Jeff, who went from a drug dealer doing 10 years in prison to now a world-renowned chef with his own TV show. How about the guy behind me, radio show host Howard Stern, who was fired more times than you can imagine, and he became the king of all media as a best-selling author, number one box office movie, and a judge on America's Got Talent. Not bad for Howard considering his first job only paid him $96 a week. Do not make a mistake and believe that success somehow happens overnight. There are countless stories about overnight successes, but actually reveal people who have followed a series of the smallest steps. The first step leading to the next step, then the next step, then the next step until they reach their goals. Understand that despite your past, your present, or your future circumstances, a fire in your belly must exist in order to cut through any and all obstacles and challenges. I love martial arts, been training most of my life, and I will never forget what my first instructor, Sensei Anthony Arango, said to me. He put it very simply. During my 10-year career pursuing my black belt, he said a black belt is a white belt that never gave up. Keep this in mind as well. Often you will not have control over your circumstances. The only thing you really have control over is your thinking and how you address and respond to situations. Believe it or not, many of the most successful people in the world have faced the same difficulties and obstacles that you face. They have been to great heights, have fallen only to rise again. They did not let their circumstances define them, and neither should you. My old football coach used to say, if you get knocked down, get back up and dust yourself off. That advice holds true on the football field and on the field of life. With each painful misstep, you gain wisdom, experience. It's okay. It's okay if you come out of it with an emotional, physical battle scar or two. That is to be expected. But remember that you will prosper in the long run only if you adopt the mindset of dusting yourself off and continuing to take one step after another. I want you to visualize a finish line out there with your name on it and your goal on it and do not stop pressing forward until 
you plow through it. Do not leave anything to chance or luck. Do not allow self-pity, helplessness, or a victim mentality creep into your life. Don't waste your time comparing yourself to others. You are unique and you have your own standards and values. Look at setbacks and mistakes as mere bumps in the road, not a reflection of your true potential. As you move forward, prepare your mind and get ready for the naysayers and the couch critics. Beware of those who will tempt or push you towards the trap door of doubt and despair. All too often, family, friend, or foe will likely tell you why things can't be done instead of supporting you and encouraging you. They have their own motives and reasons for this negative behavior. Often, their subconscious allows personal self-doubt and a lack of effort in their own ventures to somehow justify sabotaging your efforts. There are people out there who want to see you fail because somehow it makes them feel better about their own shortcomings. Unfortunately, that is the competitive and sometimes twisted world we live in. It is just one more thing to overcome. Do not use it as an excuse or let it derail you along your journey. Do not let it happen. Don't let somebody else put limits on you. Do not have a misconception that somebody will come knocking at your door to give you some type of magic Porsche, uh, a potion that will help bring in some success. Not gonna happen. What you can count on is this, your competition getting up early, staying late and having the mindset to do the things that you are not willing to do. Do not be driven to be perfect. Be driven to implement your plan. Incorporate these mindsets into your daily routine and you will be well on your way to achieving your goals. In the next video, we will talk about the actual steps you should take in order to give yourself the best chance to achieve what you really, truly desire. And always, if you think you can benefit working with me one-on-one -on -one to reach your goals, please shoot me an email to discuss. Till next time, stay strong, be a warrior, and always, always, always keep moving forward.